Okay, so oxidations and reductions, iron 2 to iron 3 or iron 3 to iron 2. There are four redox reactions that you need to know. Okay, the first one is iron 2 to iron 3 or iron 3 to iron 2. After that, there's a displacement reaction. So then we have displacements of metals and displacements of halogens. After displacements, uh, we have electrolysis. And the last one is a transfers of electron through a distance. So these are the four uh, redox reactions uh, that uh, we need to discuss uh, in our syllabus. Ions, it has two oxidation state or two oxidation number, eh? positive two and positive three. So uh, we have iron two and iron three. The color, the colors of iron two is light green. You have learned this in uh, salt, eh? okay? You should have learned this in salt. So the colors of iron two is light green and the uh, colors of iron three. Okay, can any of you tell me what's the colors of iron three? Iron two is light green, iron three. Oh my, okay, iron 2 is green, iron 3 is brown in color, it's brown color. So iron 2 is green, light green, and iron 3 is brown color. Okay, let me show you the pictures, okay? Mm, okay, this one. This is the color of iron 2, light green, eh? light green. Okay, so this is iron 3, brown. So you can ask how to remember, remember this picture. Scan this picture into your brain. Next time when we talk about uh, colors of irons, okay? Try to recall this picture, okay? Try to recall this picture. Green, brown, green, brown, green, brown, okay? Close your eye and then try to imagine this picture. Green, brown, green, brown, okay? Iron 2, iron 3, okay? It really work, okay? It really work. You try to, uh, after this, try to close your eye and try to uh, try to imagine, okay? Try to uh, vis visualize these pictures. Green, brown, then you can remember. Okay, so, uh, so that's the colors of iron 2 and iron 3 ions, huh? okay? Okay, now the change of iron 2 to iron 3, the oxidation number increased from 2, positive 2 to positive 3, and therefore it's the oxidation process, okay? So iron 2 to iron 3 is oxidation. So, and for oxidation, so we need an oxidizing agent, okay? We need an oxidizing agent to oxidize iron 2 to iron 3, yeah? okay? And then so for uh, iron 3 to iron 2, this is a reduction, and so therefore we need a reducing agent, yeah? This is done by mixing the uh, reducing agent. Huh? So we need some reducing agents to reduce iron 3 to iron 2. Let's start with the first one. Okay, change of iron 2 to iron 3. This is oxidation. Huh? And uh, this diagram shows uh, reactions or, or, the, or the experiments. Huh? From here, we can see that we have iron 2 sulfate solutions. Huh? Uh, it's green in color. Iron 2 sulfate is green in color. And then it's dropped by a few drops of uh, bromine, liquid, liquid bromine. Eh? And uh, liquid bromine, the color is a uh, reddish brown, okay, reddish brown color. And after we mix it, then we found that uh, the reddish brown colors of bromine become colorless. These uh, brown colors of bromine become colorless. And the green color, the green colors of these solutions turned brown. Okay, the green color become brown. Okay, this one's uh, the reddish brown colors of bromine become colorless. That's observations. Huh? That's the observations. So the brown colors of bromine water turns colorless, and the colors of the solution changes from light green to yellowish brown. Okay, so that is uh, what we can observe huh, from this experiment. So from the observations, eh, from the observations, then uh, we can predict that the iron two, uh, the iron two ion ch change to iron three ions, right? Because uh, the the change of the color is from green to brown. Uh, iron two is green in color, and iron three is brown in color. So the color change from green to brown. Okay, the half equation is from uh, Fe two positive uh, to become Fe three positive. Okay. Fe2 positive to Fe3 positive. Is it balanced? Bromine, chlorine, and also fluorine are oxidizing agent. Uh, this is not balanced. Uh. If not balanced, uh, how to balance it? Add electron, right? Yes, add electron. Uh. Add to which side? Left hand side or right hand side? Left or right? Just tell me, left or right? Now you see the charge. Uh. Uh, left hand side the charge is a uh, positive two and the uh, right hand side the charge is positive three yeah? and electron carry negative charge yeah? 
the charge of electron is negative one. Eh? Okay, to make the charge balance, so this negative ones we should add to left or right. If here we add negative one, then the charge will become positive one. Still not balanced, right? Okay, so we shouldn't add to the left. Eh? So we should add the electron electrons to the right. So positive three plus negative one uh the charge become positive two okay now the charge balance already uh, that is how we balance the equations uh. okay so the charge is uh, should be added to the right hand side right hand side right hand side okay so this is the half equations uh, for the change of uh, iron 2 to iron 3 now this is just half equation half means just half of it okay so there is another half of the equation right the other half is the bromine. For bromine, eh, it can be uh, bromide to bromine, okay, or bromine to bromide, okay. Mm. So this is one, and this is two, uh, okay. Uh, one of it is wrong. Another one is correct, okay. Which one is the correct half equation for the reactions of bromine? Eh? Okay, let's see the picture again, because uh, we we get to know this from the picture so the picture is uh, bromine liquids after react then uh, it become colorless uh? brown colors of the bromine water become colorless okay do you think the half equation is the f uh, uh, equation one or equation two which one which one is the correct equation because in the exams uh, usually students they will give the uh, sometimes they confuse okay they don't know whether it's from bromide to bromine or bromine to bromide now we judge from the color we judge from the color Bromine, Br2, this one, this is bromine, and the color is brown. Bromine is brown in color. Bromide is colorless. Okay, bromide is colorless. In the experiment, the brown colors of bromine turn to colorless. Okay, so which means it's from bromine to bromide. Okay, if, if it's from bromide to bromine, this can happen, so this can happen in redox reactions, uh, bromide to bromine, it can happen, okay? Uh, but if it's uh, bromide to bromine, then uh, the change of the color should be colorless to brown, yeah? But in this experiment, it's from brown to colorless, okay? So therefore, uh, it's this one, okay? The second one, uh, let's erase it. Let's erase it, okay? Uh, bromine to bromide, uh, bromide, okay? Uh, to balance it, we need to have two bromide. Uh, this is not yet balanced, uh, not yet balanced. Uh, we need to add electrons. Uh. Where should I add the electrons? Left or right? I should add my electron here or I sh uh, should I add my electrons here? Just now we learned that the first uh, half equation is uh, iron 2 uh, to iron 3, right? Fe3 positive and then plus 1 electron, right? Uh, now the second one, we learned that is from bromine, Br2, uh, to bromide okay because the colors of bromine is brown eh? this is brown in color and uh, bromide is uh, colorless okay and then we need to have two two bromide eh? two bromide this is not yet balanced eh? we need to add electrons so where should i put my electrons left or right okay now let's see the charge eh? Now, on the left hand side, the charge is zero, and on the right hand side, the charge is uh, negative two. Uh, okay, two bromide, the charge is negative two, two times negative one. So, uh, electron carry negative charge, right? Electron, uh, the charge is negative one. So, if I put my electrons on the uh, left hand side plus negative one, then the charge will become negative three. Okay, still not yet balanced. So, we can't add to the right. Yep, if you add to the right, you will make it more negative, okay? So we shouldn't add it to the right. So we add it to the left, okay? We add uh, negative two, uh, two electrons, let's plus two electrons on the, to the left, and then the charge become negative two. Uh, then now the charge balance. So that is how, uh, how we determine uh, where to put the electrons. We balance the charge, okay? We balance the charge. Uh, uh, another way to check is uh, if this one, okay, this one we add electrons, uh, to the right hand side another one we must add electron to the left hand side so here we add electrons uh, right to the right hand side here must be left
Okay, it cannot be both half equations that we add electrons to the same side. Cannot. Uh, one must be left hand side, another one must be uh, right hand side. Yeah? Uh, so this is the half equations. Uh, this is the half equations. After writing the half equations, uh, we need to write the ionic equations. If you want to write the ionic equations, uh, the first thing that you need to do is to make the number of electrons equal both sides. Uh, left hand side we have two electrons so right hand side we must also have two electrons eh? so we can do this by uh, multiply the equations by two eh? then we have two iron eh? because after we multiply the equations by two then we have two iron two ions and then so we have one bromine yeah, plus bromine and then we have two uh, iron three ions two iron three ion and then uh, two bromide Two bromide. Uh, this is the balanced ionic equations. Equations. Uh, that's how we write the ionic equations. Uh, we make the number of, of electrons equal both sides. Okay, by multiplying the equation by a certain number. Like for example, this one two electrons. This one we multiply by two. Uh. Okay. So then we have our ionic equations. Uh. In the ionic equation, you must include the charge. Uh, okay, but uh, you don't need to include the electron. Okay, electron only need to show in a uh, half equations. Uh. In ionic equation, don't need to show the electrons. Uh, okay, because the electron cancelled off already, so don't need to show the electrons. Yeah, but the charge, yes. For those that have charge, uh, but like bromine is neutral, then you don't need to show the charge. Uh. Only shows uh, the charge of ions only. Uh. This is neutral, so no charge. After that, we need to tell whether it's oxidations or reductions. Uh. Okay, iron 2 to iron 3. From these equations, uh, okay, electron is released or received uh, by this uh, ion. We, we plus electrons on the left hand side. So this is receive or release electrons. Release, uh, yes, okay, release electron. Uh, you, if we add electrons on the left hand side, uh, right hand side is release electron. Uh, this one is receive electrons. Uh, uh, plus electrons at the left hand side is receive electron plus electrons on the right hand side is release electron okay now uh, this is release electron this is receive electron and then you see the change of the oxidation number from positive 2 to positive 3 this one's from 0 to negative 1 eh? so this one is oxidations or reductions iron 2 to iron 3 oxidations or reductions it is oxidation right okay oxidation yes uh, bromine to bromide bromine to bromide is reductions eh? And these two combined together, then is redox. Okay, now redox is for uh, the whole reactions. Both add together, then is redox. Huh? This is this undergoes oxidation. This undergo reductions. Combined together, uh, then is redox reactions. Redox reactions uh, is redox. Okay, redox, redox. Redox reductions oxidation that's called redox reactions. Eh? Okay, now after we identify the oxidations and reductions reactions, then I mean, which one is the oxidizing agent? Bromine or iron two ions? Bromine, eh? okay, because it undergoes reductions. Eh? It undergoes reductions, then it's oxidizing agent. So bromine is the oxidizing agent, and uh, iron two ion is the uh, reductions. Okay, or reducing agent. Okay, confirmation test. Just now, we learned that the iron 2 ion uh, changed to iron 3 ions in the reaction and it undergoes oxidation. Uh, okay, now to confirm this, to confirm this, uh, we need to do a confirmation test. Just now, we only tell from the change of the color. Okay, just now we tell from the change of the color. We say uh, uh, green colors to brown color, okay. Uh, then uh, iron 2 change to iron 3. Yeah? Okay, but that can also be uh, the bro because the brown color can come from bromine as well because bromine is also brown color. Okay, so if you see brown color, not necessary. It must be iron three ion. Eh? So we need to do a confirmation test. Yeah, confirmation test to tell whether is uh, iron uh, the product is iron three or iron two. The easiest iron test is this one. We add sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide added into uh, the solutions. If there is precipitate formed, if there is precipitate form, uh, uh, then we add more sodium hydroxide. If there's no uh, precipitate form, then just leave it, okay? 
But if you add two centimeter cube of uh, sodium hydroxide into the solutions, uh, if precipitate form, then you add more sodium hydroxide uh, to see whether the precipitate will dissolve in more sodium hydroxide or not. Now, uh, inside this sodium hydroxide, there are hydroxide ions. Uh, these hydroxide ions, this uh, hydroxide ion, it can uh, react with uh, iron 2, iron 3, eh? okay? Uh, then to produce uh, iron 3 hydroxide, okay? Produce iron 3 hydroxide. And these iron 3 hydroxide are insoluble. Okay, insoluble. Uh, you, you should have learned this in uh, form 4 salt, eh? okay? Solubilities of oxide, hydroxide, and salt. Okay, so iron 3 hydroxide are insoluble and uh, because iron 3 is brown in color, so the precipitate form is also uh, brown in color, okay? Brown precipitate will form. Uh, insoluble and brown precipitate form. If the ion that presents is iron 3, okay? if it's iron 2, then it, it will be green precipitate form. Uh, so if you, you don't know whether it's iron 2 or iron 3, then you just add some sodium hydroxide. Eh? Add some sodium hydroxide. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, it will form brown precipitate because iron 2 uh, changed to iron 3. Eh? Okay, So this iron 3 react with the hydroxide, then it will become iron 3 hydroxide. And uh, this iron 3 hydroxide is brown precipitate. And uh, if you add more sodium hydroxide, it, do, it does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide. If this happens, then we confirm. We confirm the product is uh, iron 3. Okay. Just from the color, uh, it's not very accurate. Okay. Maybe 80% uh, you're correct, and maybe 20% is wrong. Okay. So it's not confirmed. But if you do this confirmation test, then confirm this is iron 3 ions. So uh, other than the, re the, the reactions, oxidations and reductions reactions, uh, we need to have a confirmation test to confirm the presence of iron 2 or iron 3 ions. Now let's see other oxidation oxidizing agents that get to replace uh, bromine water. So other than bromine water, you can use other oxidation uh, oxidizing agent. Eh? Okay, this should be oxidizing agent. Eh? Oxidizing. Just now we have learned that uh, oxidizing agents. Eh? Oxidizing agents. We have bromine. Okay, we have used bromine, right? Okay. Other than bromine, we have chlorine eh? other than chlorine we have potassium magnate potassium dichromate hydrogen peroxide or a concentrated nitric acid all these can be used as oxidizing agent to oxidize iron 2 to iron 3 all this eh? okay can be the oxidizing agent used so let's go back to the slide eh? the oxidizing agent the very first oxidizing agent that you can use is chlorine okay just now we use bromine right so we can use chlorine instead of bromine okay uh, if we use chlorine, eh, the chlorine is a uh, green color, okay? Actually, it's a very light green color, okay? So these uh, green colors of uh, chlorine water will become colorless, eh? okay? If we use chlorine as oxidizing agent, then you will find that uh, the colors of this uh, chlorine will become colorless, like bromine. Bromine, the brown color become colorless. Uh, this one is the green color become colorless. That's observations. And uh, after the, uh, ob the observations, you need to write the half equations, uh, half equations. So for these half equations, iron 2 change to iron 3. Okay, iron 2 change to iron 3. And the chlorine change to chloride. This is an error. Uh, okay. uh, you see, it's uh, about the same. It's about the same as uh, uh, bromine. Eh? Okay, bromine is about the same. Okay, so this is the half equations, and then from the half equations, then uh, we we write the ionic equations. Okay, write the ionic equations for this. Okay, to make the equations balance, this one with times two, uh, because this one one electron and this one two electron. Okay, uh, so we have two ions plus uh, chlorine produces two iron three ion plus two chloride. So this is the ionic equations. Let me check your answer here. Next one, like potassium permanganate. What's the colors of potassium permanganate? Potassium permanganate is uh, purple in color. Purple in color, not orange, eh? okay? It's purple in color. So observations, the purple colors of the solutions become colorless after the reactions. Eh? The purple colors of the solution become colorless. 
and uh, the half equations iron 2 to iron 3 and then we have this uh, magnet 8 hydrogens okay uh, manganese uh, okay write the ionic equations uh, for this reaction these two are the half equations next one acetate potassium dichromate dichromate is orange in color the color is orange okay so this is the colors of the potassium dichromate It's orange color okay and then after the reactions it become green okay this green color is the colors of chromium ion 3 cr3 positive dichromates the observations from orange orange colors to green half equations so half equations, uh, this is dichromate, eh? okay, dichromate, this is iron, and to make it balanced, uh, this one we multiply by 6, multiply by 6, eh? so then the equations become 6 Fe, 2 positive, plus uh, 1 uh, dichromate, Cr2, O7, 2 negative, and then uh, 14 hydrogens, ions, produces, 6 iron 3 ions and then plus uh, 2 chromium and 7 water molecule so this is the half equations and ionic equations for this reaction sir. so this is a half equation for iron 2 to iron 3 by using hydrogen peroxide as the, the oxidizing agent the ionic equation this one will be times 2 Okay, so this ionic equation for hydrogen peroxide. Um, check your answer. Next one is uh, iron two react with concentrated nitric acid. Again, there's no observations. Huh? And uh, this is the half equations. And to write the ionic equation, this one we need to times 6. Uh, because this one has 6 electrons, this one is 1 electron. To make it balanced, we need to times 6. So 6Fe2 two positive plus 2 nitrate plus 8 hydrogen ion. Uh, uh, the products will be 6 iron 3, 2. NO plus 4H2O. So this is the balanced equations.